Oh, the first album, yes, absolutely. The musically, we were all very, very happy with it. Um, it didn't go anywhere because they didn't distribute it. That's part of the reason. Um, we, I don't know how many times we'd go play somewhere and people would say, oh, we love your stuff, but we can't find your record. And we heard that all over the place and they didn't distribute it. I don't know why. I don't remember what the first single was or, or uh, the one they sent to the, what the songs were. I don't think they would have been goofy enough to send them heroin, but I don't know what they did send, if they sent anything, actually. I don't even, I don't even know if they did that in those days. But um, I don't know, there was a number of songs that weren't controversial or horrifying at the time that were pretty damn good, I thought. <laughs> so I, I, I think MGM was just sort of trying to keep us off the streets, sign them up and let them make a record and let them go on their way. You know, that's almost the way it felt. Sterling used to say that they signed us so we wouldn't, couldn't compete with, with uh, Zappa. They'd push them and now we were signed, we couldn't have a record for someone else and they just shut us up, in other words. It was a good theory. Yeah. <laughs> Andy didn't play any role in the first record. Uh, we saved up money from playing with the exploding. And um, no, he didn't play any role. Not a technical role, he was always a cheerleader, sort of, but which was great to have, but no, he, he didn't play any role. Leaving Andy or separating from Andy, as far as I was concerned, didn't, as far as I knew, didn't really um, change much, except now we were just, it was us and not this entire show. I mean, we had a lot of fun doing those shows um, and played in a lot of interesting places, and, but we wanted to be a band more than a part of a show. Now that you say that, you're right, that it did um, really liberate us. Be uh, there were so many times we'd play at, for instance, the, the YMHA in Philadelphia, and it, would, it was a, some kind of art show, and they invited Andy, and here's where the exhibit, you know? <laughs> and, which was fun. As I said, we always en we enjoyed it, but the audiences and those kind of things, the Chrysler Museum and all these crazy places, they had no interest whatsoever in rock and roll, let alone us. And I know we made lots of fans amongst those people, but we used to joke around and say, well, how many people left? Oh, about half. Oh, we must have been good tonight. You so, walked out on you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we drove, we, they leave in droves. These would be rich society people and, and artists and stuff. And this was, they didn't want to hear a band, let alone what we were doing. So it, it did, leaving Andy in that way, you're right, um, was a big help to us.